What's going on guys? It's Jake the Barber and I'm here at the Men's Club Barbershop in Philadelphia, PA. And I am here with... Uh, Victor Brzezinski. Uh, and we are going to do a nice little haircut today. What do you got in mind? Uh, I'm thinking a number one on this side and kind of fade the length up and get a little longer as we go up. And then maybe about a half an inch up the top and maybe you could touch up my beard for me as well. Sure. You said you had a photo? Oh yeah. I'm thinking something like... This, okay. kind of the sides getting a little longer as we go up and kind of keeping a square shape on the side of the head. Cool. Alright guys, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my one and I'm going to start uh, almost at the arch here and I'm just going to follow this um, and drop a little bit in the back. So I'm going to start a little bit lower than mid ear and I'm just combing as I'm going. Making sure I'm combing the whole time. Get that hair out of the way. Same thing on the other side. And we're just gonna meet in the back. All right, I'm gonna take a three. We're just gonna guide this up, but we're gonna rock out the whole time. Make sure we're not cutting any of this longer hair, comb that out of the way. Put a two on and go just below that three, about probably about a say like an inch. I'm gonna go back to my one and put it back on, but I'm gonna open it all the way up. I'm gonna go just below that line that I just put in with that too. I'm slowly closing as I go and, I, and I'm moving down. Close a little bit more. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. All the way open, just below the two. A little bit more. Same thing in the back. Okay, now before I do this taper, I'm gonna let this clipper cool off a little bit. These kind of these get kind of hot. Um, so I'm just gonna set this down and switch to another clipper. I'm gonna put my two on. I'm gonna pick up where I left off with the two, but I'm gonna do the same exact thing I just did with the one. So remember, I put a three in here. So I'm gonna get a two, open it all the way up. And I'm just gonna slowly knock that line out, just like how I did with the one. Closing a little bit as I go. Same thing, all the way open.
close a little bit. I'll put this taper in the back. I'm going to throw this, this half clip on, go up just about an inch, a little bit less than that one that we put our first initial step in with. Then I'm going to do the same thing that I always do, start right below that all the way open. And just close as I go down. Put the half back on, just open it a little bit if there's any areas. A little bit more. Now before I move on, I'm just going to check. Since uh, Victor's hair is really uh, straight, it's kind of, it gets kind of tricky in these in these blending areas, and there's some spots that could be missed. So I'm just going to double back and check it out. I'm going to put my one back on and just kind of corner certain areas just to clean it up. I'm just going to fade this into the beard so there's not a super hard line before I shape it up. Victor, he's been in Trim your beard. Hmm. Would you tell us about uh, this beard length for you? Uh, this is definitely the longest I've had my beard and it's definitely just interesting watching it since the last time I grew my beard out just how much fuller it is and I guess looks more like a beer than just just not shaving for a few weeks. And for this area, I'm really just like working my lever um, and cornering this because I don't want to take a chunk out. Um, this is really just like a, a delicate area um, that you don't want to just go in uh, really aggressive because you can take a chunk out and then you have to keep going further and further into the beard. So this is like a really important to use the corner of your clipper. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So now I'm gonna do the shape up. Um, and this is really just like a modest shape up. I never like to cut into uh, my client's hairlines unless they request it, but it's just not something I like to do. Um, so I'm going to start right back here and I see this line just going to For this part of the haircut, I, I usually like to just keep it really modest and work with what he has instead of create something uh, that he doesn't and then carve into the hairline. I really like to just keep this like a really natural look. Now for this part, I'm just going to switch um, to a cordless detailer just to get under the, under the neck. And I like, I like using these for this part because I don't have to chase a cord around which can be kind of a pain. And I'm just being really easy with this too. Just really getting rid of these hairs. And since he's growing his beard out, I really don't want to take too much off. I just want to clean it up, kind of round these edges here. And just be really light because usually the skin on the neck is, is really sensitive. Mm. 
I normally do this part with a straight razor, but I can do it with uh, a detailer. So I, I know what I want to do here. I see the arch. I just want to stay on it. Just follow his natural line. We're going to get rid of this cheek hair. We're not going to go really far into this at all. We're going to keep this very high. Now before I get into the shear work and put all the electronics down, I'm just going to go with this shaver and I'm going to knock down some of these heavier areas that are thicker hair um, that might show. So, you know, I'll use this for like the neck or the, um, the cheek up above where we just put that line in. This really, really gets involved. Now I'm just going to wet the top down, make the hair work for me. Really figure out what I want to cut and what I don't want to cut. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut the top first. I'm going to come in on an angle. And I'm just going to give this one pass, um, and I'm not going to cross check it or, or come up like this because I want it to be a little choppy because it's going to create texture and it's going to save me some time so I don't have to go back and texture the whole thing. Now you can see what needs to be cut. Okay, now that the top's cut, we're going to blend the sides um, to the top here. And I don't know if you guys remember, but we used a three initially. So the biggest um, guard size is a three. So we somehow need to get a three to blend to this long hair. And uh, he said he wants to go for a more square look, um, and he has just the hair to do it. So we're going to do a mixture of a clipper over comb and then we're going to follow up with shear over comb to really work out uh, some of those lines. So I'm just going to separate the hair where I want it. I'm just going to use my clipper. And I have to be very careful when I'm doing this. Now you guys will notice that with a lot of my stuff, I really like to just start on one side, I jump to the other side, and then I meet in the back. Um, it's just a habit I developed, and I find it a lot easier to complete haircuts that way. So now, uh, I'm just going to put the three back on, I'm going to open it a little bit, and I'm just going to kind of flick it out to smooth over any little lines that my clipper created. Just to be safe here. And I'm looking at it from the back so I can see what needs to be trimmed down and what doesn't. It's really the only way for a haircut like this to see the, the square um, to make sure it's actually square. Because I can look at it head on, but I can't actually see. So I have to make sure I'm looking at it from the back. I'm 
Okay. Lastly, I'm just going to blow dry and throw some product in there to complete it. Um, so for this, just going to come from the back. I like to start in the back. And he already has uh, some natural volume in the front, so I really don't have to do a ton of work in the front. Um, but I want to dry the back. I like, to, I like to do this with a comb. A lot of people like to do it with a brush or a round brush. I really just like to do this with a comb. Lastly, I'm just going to apply some product and I, I, when I put product in, I really like to start from the back um, because if you go in from the front right away, you're going to apply a ton of product to the front of the hair and it's really going to stick. So I like to, to start in the back um, and, and work it through with my fingers. Um, and after like, you know, the initial hit of the product is, is in the back of the hair, um, then I'll come back to the front and work it through. Good hair doesn't come in a can. Um, it comes from how the hair is cut and, and, and the blow dry. So you can try to fight your hair with product as much as you want. If your hair is not cooperating, it's probably not the product. Um, and you know, it's probably your hair. Maybe time to come up with a different style. And when I put product on my hands, I really, really like to work it through. I don't, I don't want it to be clumpy. So like I said, I'm gonna put a start in the back first and then I'm gonna throw it into the front. I'm going to finish it off uh, with one of my favorite combs. This is a great tool. Um, this is just a wide tooth comb and this really, really helps with style at the end um, after the product is in. Okay. Start. I always like to start combing in the back just like how I add the product and then I work my way to the front. Thanks for watching this video. Beard Brand has launched a private community called The Alliance. It's for men who are looking to invest in themselves and who are looking to keep on growing. Click the link over there and come join us or stick around and watch some more awesome videos.